Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will tell you the details of fontanelles. So you will learn how to palpate. Then what is the size and shape? How will you measure the size of anterior fontanelle? Then what is the clinical significance? So to palpate the anterior fontanelle, we have to keep the three fingers at the level of fontanelles, and we have to check the level of fontanelle, and also we have to palpate for the pulsation. Normally, pulsation will be feel. at the anterior fontanelle and it should be at the level if it is burst or depressed then it is pathological for the palpation of posterior fontanelle we have to keep our finger at the junction of occipital and parietal bone now the size and shape anterior fontanelle is present at the junction of two parietal and two frontal bones so here you can see it is the frontal bone and this is the parietal bone junction and shape of the anterior fontanelle is rhomboid shape at the time of birth size is 2.5 into 2.5 cm and it closes by the age of 9 to 18 months posterior fontanelle present at the junction of two parietal and the occipital bone shape is triangular and size is 0.5 cm at the time of birth it closes at the age of 1 and 1/2 months to measure the size of anterior fontanelle there are two methods either we can take the anteroposterior and horizontal diameter or we can take the midpoints so in this image you can see i have taken the anteroposterior and horizontal diameter and after that after taking the length and width we have to multiply ab into cd this will be the size of anterior fontanelle another method is we can take the midpoints of both the borders and we can multiply so this is the another method again we have to multiply ab into cd this will be the size measurement now what is the clinical significance of anterior fontanelle delayed closure normally it closes by the age of 18 months if not that means child may be suffering from rickets which is very common hydrocephalus congenital hypothyroidism achondroplegia osteogenesis imperfecta and in down syndromes baby premature closure of the anterior fontanelle or small size of anterior fontanelle can be seen when the child is suffering from craniosynostosis shankan anterior fontanelle seen whenever child is having dehydration which is very common in pediatric patient whenever child is having the diarrhea vomiting then severe dehydration will lead to the shankan anterior fontanelle bulging anterior fontanelle due to the increase intracranial tension hydrocephalus will be there so this is all about the anterior fontanelles and we have to remember the normal age when the anterior and posterior fontanelles closes so it is very easy to remember you have to remember 1 and 1/2 anterior fontanelle 1 and 1/2 years and posterior fontanelles 1 and 1/2 months thank you so much